Understanding the U.S. Army's approach to stability and reconstruction in South Sudan. South Sudan is a nation that has been struggling with the consequences of a civil war that came to an end in 2018. While the fighting may have stopped, the country still has a long way to go in terms of achieving stability, both politically and economically. To help South Sudan move towards a more stable future, the United States, U.S., Army has played a crucial role. The Army has used its expertise to help in areas such as reconstruction, security, and ultimately, building a culture of peace in the new country. The United States Army's presence in South Sudan South Sudan gained its independence from Sudan in 2011, but soon after, a civil war broke out, which killed tens of thousands of people and forced over two million people out of their homes. In response, the United Nations, UN, decided to set up a peacekeeping mission in the country and asked the U.S. Army to contribute to the peacekeeping effort. The U.S. Army responded to this call and sent a contingent of 2,500 troops to South Sudan to help with the peacekeeping efforts. The Army's mandate was to help keep the peace, support the UN mission, and protect civilians in need. Stability and Reconstruction Plan The U.S. Army in South Sudan has been working on a long-term plan to help the country rebuild itself after several years of conflict. The Army's approach has been to ensure that there is a functioning government in place that can provide services to its citizens. The Army works with the South Sudanese government, NGOs, and other international organizations to achieve this goal. One of the key elements of the plan is the promotion of political stability in South Sudan. And the U.S. Army has been instrumental in supporting the South Sudanese leadership in working towards forming a stable government. The Army has worked to ensure that political and ethnic differences are resolved to promote better governance. Another important element of the U.S. Army's plan is to help with the reconstruction efforts in the country. After several years of civil war, South Sudan's infrastructure was severely damaged and there was a need to ensure that livelihoods were restored. The U.S. Army has been instrumental in rebuilding schools, hospitals, and other critical infrastructure, which has helped in attracting international investment. Security and Stability the U.S. Army's presence in South Sudan has also helped to improve security in the country. The Army's approach has been to provide training and mentorship to the South Sudanese military, which has helped in improving their ability to maintain security in the country. The Army has also worked with the South Sudanese government to help with disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration DDR, efforts to ensure that weapon ownership is reduced and violence is minimized. The U.S. Army's focus on security has also helped in mitigating conflicts before they escalate. The Army has been instrumental in forming community policing groups that work to improve security at the grassroots level. These groups have been successful in promoting dialogue between different ethnic groups, which has helped in reducing violence in the country. Tree. Conclusion the United States Army's approach to stability and reconstruction in South Sudan has been a crucial factor in the country's journey towards stability. The Army has worked towards promoting political stability, rebuilding critical infrastructure and mentoring the South Sudanese military to ensure better security. The efforts of the U.S. Army have been successful in promoting peace, security, and development in South Sudan. However, there is still much work to be done, and the U.S. Army will continue to play a significant role in the country's future. future.